All right, guys. Uh, excuse me, I got a cold coming on or whatnot. But uh, another outing. Um, this time we're just here having fun. Uh, meeting some new people that I've never met before. Um, about six people. This should be pretty interesting. Absolutely should be at least fun. <laughs> but uh, this is more like uh, car camping, if you want to call it that. <coughs> I mean, I've got all set up, but my truck's just, you know, not too far away. But uh, got my hammock all set up. And all my junk as usual. Laid out all over the ground tarp. I can't say enough about a ground tarp. Those things are worth their money. I mean, just use one that's junk. I got a 5x7 and it works perfect for my uh, ground uh, tarp. And I obviously use my 10x10. 10 10. I think it might be a little bit smaller than 10x10, 10 10, but it's pretty close for my shelter tarp with my hammock. And it's not too cold out right now. Um, about 57 degrees, I think, is what the thermometer says. So, let me, uh, I'm gonna go meet the guys. Not sure if I'll get around to taping much more today, but. Anyways, so the moon's pretty bright tonight. Definitely a full moon. I'm hoping that this comes in pretty good, but it's kind of amazing when you look through the viewfinder and notice that the moon's actually moving pretty fast, you know, at least through the viewfinder. Something you don't notice normally. It's only 6.30 right now and it's 52 degrees outside. Pretty nice night. I don't know, sometimes I just like to, you know, sit in my hammock for say, or, you know, just lay out on the ground. Even if you're next to a fire for say. Just stare up at the moon and imagine people landing on it. That had to have been spooky. No matter who you are. The sky happens to be pretty clear tonight. I mean, there's a few clouds, but for the most part, you can see all the stars. The great part about that is, is once you get away from the city, you can pretty much see that. Something that gets drowned out by all the city lights if you're in the city. And I'm sure that's enough of the moon. All right, guys. At least for tonight. It's about eight o'clock now. Um, one of the guys fixed chili. Did it in the uh, Dutch oven, and it was amazing. Um, there was even more left. I could have ate more probably, but uh, I had two good bowl size fulls, and it was amazing. Um, really good. Um, not quite ready for bed yet, but just thought I'd, you know, jump in there and say that. Went ahead and put on my wool. Normally I wait until almost literally right before I go to bed to uh, start putting my, you know, my base layers on basically and stuff. Um, and tonight I decided, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and stick them on that way. Whatever heat that I do generate um, will already be there. Um, so, anyway, thought you guys would like to know that. I'll be going to bed here soon. Just 
not ready yet. <laughs> you know how it is. Kind of like staying up late. Sleep in. That's the best part about camping is you can sleep in until you got to pee. And even then you can get back up and go again. Go back to bed, I mean. Alright. Well, good morning, morning. guys. Uh, Talk to you later, guys. This morning, had breakfast. Uh, the guys cooked up a potato, cheese, onion, um, sausage, I'm not sure what else, mixture. And it was pretty darn good. So, I'm eating very well. Um, very nice, guys. Getting ready to possibly go check out the area here. It uh, started sprinkling. Not too bad or anything like that. But definitely change in temperatures thing that uh, well it's Kansas you just can't uh, <laughs> can't believe anything the weatherman says it uh, changes constantly so yeah I'm gonna go out and have a little more fun just wanted you guys to check out this nice view I got here of rolling hills very, very neat. You can see all the rock coming off the cliff. I see things like that and imagine Indians herding buffalo off the side of it. Just imagining. So we're walking through a tunnel right now. Very cool. <laughs> it's a pretty long tunnel, actually. So, very cool. Some more pretty cool views here. It's a pretty piece of property here, for sure. This spot here where we're at is what gives the place here its name, Alcove Springs. Uh, there's actually a spring down at the bottom of this that, uh, from my understanding, seeps at least almost all year. And right now it actually is seeping. Uh, not the basin that you can see right now, but just up from it. And I'll take you down here and show you one of these rocks if I have time that has the engraving, engraving it as Alcove Springs. That's pretty cool. So I realize it's quite windy up here, but it's definitely a beautiful view from the top of this. I'm gonna go ahead and pan around just a little bit. I'm trying to block the wind so it's not so bad on the camera. But this is definitely my view, and I highly enjoy it. Wind's so strong it's about to blow me over. Whoops. There you go guys. Also check out that view. I'm partially shaded from some evergreens now, so shouldn't be as windy as it was before. Today I'm just having fun, relaxing. You know, just taking it easy. You gotta have days like that once in a while. Or weekends. So this area here of Kansas is called the Flint Hills. And the reason why it's called the Flint Hills is because of all this chert, per se, that is created in limestone. And you can find this all over the place. Almost literally everywhere you, you walk. Just little pieces. All over the place. There's another one up here. Definitely idea. You see the swirls in it. A lot of it's pretty sharp, so you gotta be very careful. You know, definitely don't want to land on something like that. 
because, I mean, <laughs> it'd be painful. I'm sure if you were skilled at flint napping, you could make something out of this. It's a nice little creek running through here. That uh, actually is pretty clear. Uh, lots of leaf scent, leaves in it, you know, and really hasn't released a lot of tannins in it yet. Um, super, super clear. Kind of nice. You can actually see it's actually flowing somewhat, so you know there's something coming from upstream. And I'm sure a lot of this rock and stuff helps filter the water out. If that ain't a cool little shelter somebody has built, looks like they had spent the night out here. Very cool. This is also a pretty neat, uh, this is the same spot where the shelter is, but also a neat pool of water here where obviously they converge and splits off because the water looks like it comes down here, splits off this way and also splits off back that way. But a pretty decent sized pool there, um, maybe a few feet deep. That nice bank there. Or embankment. I think I'm going to do some exploring back that way. Just another neat shot. I love how all the cedars kind of just envelop the area right there. Just kind of makes a nice backdrop for it since we're in the leaf offs, you know, season. I found this rock here. This would be probably a pretty pretty neat one to crack open. Nice nodule. You can definitely see the, the texture to it where all the limestone for the most part has disappeared from it and where it has been chipped right here to reveal. itself. So this land around me just give you kind of an idea. I'm literally standing on the side of a hill. <laughs> Very cool. I'm going to show you uh, found a mushroom that I have no clue what it is. I'm going to take you back over there and show you that real fast. And then I'm seeing what appears to be a vine that's going way up in the trees with uh, looks like red berries to me but so far away I can't quite tell so I'm gonna check that out investigate it man I'm really just enjoying this this is great really didn't know stuff like this was in Kansas but I guess if you kind of stick around to your normal areas that's uh, kind of what you get is normal stuff <laughs> so you gotta learn to venture out some more, I guess. So let's go over here and check out this red mushroom that I found growing on the side of this tree. Let me get the camera situated here and I'll switch it back around. So this growing um, actually isn't too big. The uh, lobe there, whoops, sorry, there, it's probably as big as a partial piece of a 50 cent piece and the same thing with the other one to give you an idea kind of looked red to me earlier it's starting to look kind of more like a reddish orange and uh, really looks orange in the viewfinder I don't know if that's the way it's going to turn out for you guys but it sure has the birds are just buzzing me I don't know if it's because I'm on a hillside and it Kind of their flying area. It's pretty neat though. So here's the pods with the uh, red berries in them and I'll go ahead and show you if it'll come in. But this bush tree like vine has made its way all the way up to the top of this tree. 
and it may not come in so I'm going to try to zoom in somewhat which is probably going to be a little shaky but uh, you can see all the orange and red from them I think the animals haven't really got to them up here that's why there's so much more of it up here That's an easy 20 feet up. Never seen that stuff grow that far. It's pretty neat though. So guys, as the moment I'm, I had climbed up here, I just wanted to show you a few things. Pretty good ways up. It definitely goes way down to the bottom down there. Um, for those of you, some of you looking for um, chert or what people call flint, um, this is how you help to find it. Is it's increted in limestone in most cases. And if you can see here a layer of limestone and then a layer of chert, limestone, chert, limestone, and then etc. etc. all the way up. Um, and you can definitely, one you know, one layer will be a different grade than the other, and you can chip out little sections of it that way. But I'm right here at the face of it here, and you know it's lighter colored down here, more chalky, per se. But when you get up to the higher levels, it turns um, darker, and those are probably um, denser, or would work better, per se. But so there's really no flat place to yeah. set down the camera up here. Really enjoying myself. I'm trying to get up to the rock face, but if I had a nice chipping hammer, you know, we could go ahead and chip out sections of this stuff here. Some of this looks like it's barely hanging on, so definitely be something you want to be careful with because I'm almost positive that if some of this disappeared, you know, the rest of it would go down with it, so it's uh, definitely dangerous to do it. A lot of your cut roadways will have this in it. So you can see a spot right there really nice and dark. And also right below all this right here are pieces. Um, I don't flint nap, but from what I understand, pieces that are exposed, per se, that aren't covered up, usually aren't very good for flint napping because they go through the freeze thaw cycles. And uh, we'll do have micro cracks in them that you can't see. Hence the reason why a lot of this has probably fell off here. Little mouse nest all up in there. We'll just let them be. And I'll hike out of this little area here. Definitely not. You have to be sure-footed to walk into some of this. Look at that piece I just took off of there. Lighting's not so good. But, uh, very sharp edge on there. I mean, if I tried to slice my finger across that, I probably would slice myself. So, I mean, if you're wanting to use some of this stuff for tools, you wouldn't even have to do anything. I mean, literally, just grab it off the side of this thing and start using it. So if you didn't know how to flint nap per se. See there's another piece just pulled right off the side of that. I'm sure there's others amongst this that I could do the same with. Like 
that nodule right there. Lots of, wow, that's sharp, razor sharp right there. Just hanging onto the side, little chunks. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, where I'm at, it's probably not the, I mean, there's plenty of it, abundance of it, but I don't think I would be chipping on this rock because uh, there's nowhere to go but down. There's plenty of it that you can get, you know, like I said, laying around or at least safer spots. Um, the creek beds tend to have it in there too. You know, I think I may have figured out what that berry is. Um, I think it may be a bittersweet, guys. But uh, definitely don't know at the moment. I originally had thought it was an eastern burning bush, but that's not quite the same as I've seen before. Uh, the burning bush has the four um, petals, for say, from the seed pod. And... The one I showed you just a minute ago has the three, which I'm going to have to go apologize to somebody because I accidentally um, told them that I thought it was wrong, you know, the, the guys that I'm hiking with. A lot of the stuff, you know, it's pretty hard to remember everything, especially if you're new at some of this as I am. That's a chunk of the tap. Beautiful piece right there. It's just so neat. Just to think that this was a tool once, you know. This was the tool, per se. Stone and bone. And they used wood, obviously, as a tool also. Didn't have all this steel that we use today. Very neat. And we'll put this rock down before it falls on my foot. And uh, I'll get back with you guys later. Isn't that a view? I know you probably can't tell from it um, with all these trees in the way. But I'm enjoying the view. Let me pick you up and show you over here. The grasslands out there, the rolling hills. Yeah, definitely a distant hilltop way over there that I uh, won't be making it to today. <coughs> or probably tomorrow either for that matter because tomorrow morning I'll get up and head home. So there won't be much more recording today. The sun is definitely setting. I need to probably start heading back towards camp. Who knows, maybe I'll wander around a little bit more. I think I may have another two hours of daylight left, at least, because it's getting darker a lot sooner now, so... Definitely pretty cool cliff. I'm on top of the cliff you just seen a little while ago. And behind me, there, you know, there's no trees in the way now because we're on the cliff. But uh, you can definitely see the view from here very well. Something to cherish for sure. Hey guys, it's getting ready to get dark. Um, been just sitting around or standing around walking around chatting with everybody and just having a blast really it's uh, been pretty enjoyable um, they're getting ready to cook up some good grub right now oh my gosh I think there's more food here to eat and I kind of feel bad to be honest with you um, I didn't quite expect to so much <laughs> so Anyhow, it's getting ready to get dark, so I figured I'd uh, pop in and let you know how things are going. 
supposed to uh, get pretty windy tonight, so I got my shelter like I always have it. Just kind of buckled down so keep the wind out. It's so quiet right now. There's there's not any wind right now. <laughs> you can hear the owls in the background. And all the birds chirping for say. But uh, I'll get back with you later if I well something else changes. Probably say good night or something. Okay guys, it's morning. Pretty well packed up. I'm gonna do one more quick little video here on the hammock and then I'll say my goodbyes and get out of here. It's not a long drive, three hours, but still I got plenty of stuff to do, so <coughs> slept pretty good last night. So see you guys later. <laughs>